what are the best investments to use inside of your Roth IRA? You've got tons of options to choose from. Which one is most appropriate for the Roth? I've got that coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I am the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. So the, your use of tax shelters as you're saving up for retirement is crucial. It's crucial to keep Uncle Sam out of your pocket while you're building wealth. And the Roth IRA has an unbelievable feature in that the growth is tax-free. As long as you qualify. To qualify, you need to be 59 and a half when you're making your withdrawals, and you have needed to have a Roth IRA, not the same Roth IRA, not in consecutive years, but a Roth for five years of your life. That's it, and it's a weird rule, but that's the five-year rule for the, for the Roth. But if that's the case, then your investments within your Roth IRA grow tax deferred and tax-free, which is an unbelievable advantage, especially as we talked just recently about the growing debt uh, here in the U.S. So how do you use the Roth effectively? And, and what I, when I say effectively, I mean what investment tools are appropriate for the Roth IRA? Sometimes people come in, although this is sort of uh, back in the olden days, people would say, hey, what are the, what's the Roth IRA paying, or what's your IRA paying, or, or, um, and, and that's really mostly connected to banks used to offer CD rates that were specific for IRAs or whatever. Those days are gone for the most part. I mean, a, a Roth IRA or an IRA or a 401k, that's just a wrapper. That's just a package. You can put any groceries you want in that package, right? You can put you can put anything you want inside of that Amazon box and ship it. Okay, so so the the Roth IRA, the IRA, that's just the box, and depending on the box, it has different tax treatment. And like I said, the Roth IRA grows tax deferred and is withdrawn tax free. That growth is tax free. So, which investments do you want to put within that wrapper? Well, in order to know the best investments, let's talk through the worst investments, the, the investments that I would not recommend that you have inside the Roth. The first investment that I would tell you not to use inside of your Roth IRA is the Roth IRA, the benefit is on the tax deferred growth. So an investment that is low growth, a, a bond investment, okay, I would not use inside of a Roth IRA. I would, I would not because bonds, when interest rates are going down, bond investments go up, okay, so you could have some appreciation, some growth there, but for the most part, bonds just pay interest. I mean, that's primarily where their return comes from. Well, right now is interest rates are apparently as low as they can go. Therefore, you know, bonds are already have had as much capital depreciation as they're going to see, and interest rates are locked in very low. Your bonds have very, very, very limited growth potential, very limited upside. Why use them inside the Roth? The Roth, the only benefit is the tax deferred growth, okay, and the tax free growth. And it don't use an investment that has very little, very little growth potential. So that's the first one. I would not use bonds inside of my Roth IRA. The second thing I would not use inside your Roth IRA is a target date fund. Um, a target date fund is a pre-packaged investment, one investment that in and of itself is all diversified, right? And the special thing about the target date fund as compared to just a balanced fund is the target date fund will get less and less and less aggressive over time. You don't have to do anything. It's set up on autopilot. It will get less aggressive over time. And there again, when applied to the Roth IRA, that means your Roth IRA has less potential for growth over time. Typically, your Roth IRA, because these dollars grow tax deferred and are withdrawing tax free, these are the last dollars you're going to withdraw in retirement. So we're talking 80, 85, 90, 95, or likely your kids are going to inherit it. So it wouldn't be appropriate to use a target date fund by that by the time you're 65, without you doing anything, your Roth IRA is 50-50, has 50% in bonds. Or as the time by the time you reach 70, it only has 30% in bond or in stocks, right? 30% in that growth, uh, that growth potential. So I would not use target date funds inside of the Roth IRA either. So those are two investments that I would definitely avoid 
inside the Roth IRA. Avoid bonds, avoid target date funds. Therefore, what are the best investments to use inside your Roth? Well, again, if the benefit of the Roth is the growth, the tax-free growth that you get to pull out, you want to use growth-oriented investments. And what are those? I'll list, I'll list three of them, okay? The very first is a diversified stock or equity-based investment mix, okay? So I'd be talking about, you know, 30% U.S. large cap, 15% U.S. mid cap, 15% U.S. small cap, emerging markets, international real estate, something that's very, very growth oriented. And I'd have that be, you know, for the most part, all equities. Um, I'd, I'd have it be diversified. So you're managing some of that, um, some of that risk there, but I, I would, I'd, I'd have it more aggressive than everything else. Now, if that risk level of 100% in stocks is too aggressive for your overall uh, risk tolerance, I would be taking less risk in other accounts because again, you want that growth, as much growth as possible coming in that Roth IRA. So, so that's the first one that I would consider is a diversified because you just don't know. US, US stocks have been the best performer the past 15 years, large US stocks, small caps have been the second best, but we have no idea for the next 10 years, the next 15, what it will be. If you go back through history and there's, there's from decade to decade, that varies. So I'd pick a, a balanced approach, but I'd have it be primarily, or if not all, growth investments or, or stock investments. So that's the first thing that I'd recommend within the Roth IRA. The second investment type, and I like this one a lot more right now inside the Roth IRA is our momentum strategy or a momentum strategy within your Roth. The Roth is going to, um, again, that, that the, you get the benefit on the tax-free growth and a momentum strategy is like a heat-seeking missile. It's always looking for where there is growth, always. And whether that is, that is in this particular sector or in this, you know, specific country or emerging markets or tech stocks or biotech or mid cap or large or mid or value or growth, doesn't matter. Momentum is, is looking for where there are growth opportunities. But then it, so, so it has the ability for more potential growth than just a diversified buy and hold mix of equities. Um, but it also has the mechanism that if nothing has momentum, it has a fill safe, all right, we'll go, we'll go to cash and we'll go into protect mode. That's not what you want long-term inside, inside the Roth. So make sure that you're using the right momentum strategy, our dynamic strategy, that's sort of a last, last case scenario. That's, that's a last option. Um, but it still does have that option if nothing has momentum. So that's the second thing. And I strongly recommend that right now because of where things are in the market that likely with all the money printing stimulus, we still have a lot of upside, but there are huge risks, huge risks. And the higher things go and the more money that's printed, the bigger those risks become. The third type of investment that I would recommend within your Roth IRA, I, I hesitate doing so. It's not for everyone. It's a, it's a little controversial, but, but if this is within your realm of expertise and comfort level with, an, with investments, then within your Roth, that would be a decent place to hold an individual stock or a few individual stocks or even a cryptocurrency if that is, again, your investment uh, appetite, okay? And the reason why is you're investing in those because that concentration has the ability to build wealth very quickly. Okay. Now the reason why I hesitate and why I tell you and caution you, this is not for everyone is because even though concentration can allow you to build wealth very quickly, you could also lose all of your money. That company, that individual company that you think is such a great investment could actually go bankrupt. I, I've seen it happen and, and you likely have as well. And so same thing with, with these cryptos. I mean, they have enormous potential and yet at the same time, there could be a technological change or a law change or a regulation change and all of a sudden they are worth significantly less if not, you know, their value goes, drops all the way down. So that's obviously not a great idea for a Roth, but those individual investments give you the, the it's a lot of risk, like I just mentioned, but the most growth potential and obviously you want that in the Roth, which is the point. Working with your certified financial planner as they look at your entire financial situation, 
all of your investment accounts and the type of risk that you should take, the investment strategies you should take, they're gonna help you figure out which investment strategies are appropriate for each of your accounts, okay? So that your entire household is diversified, not where this is diversified and that's diversified and that's diversified. No, so your entire household is so that you can use the right investment strategies in each of the accounts. If you don't have a CFP helping you with that, you can contact one on my team. Find us online, corhorn.com. That's Corhorn with a K or wisemoneyshow.com, or you can give us a call, 574-247-5898. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.